today we are going to make this beautiful mirror wall decor. Um, one of my friends, she's making her house into uh, rose gold. She's doing rose gold decor. And she asked me, can I make a few little accents for her home? So the first thing we're going to do is make this mirrored wall decor. Rose gold, y'all. Everything rose gold for the next few days. So y'all stay tuned for that. So with this video, um, we're going to use some of this uh, diamond confetti. I got that from Amazon. A Zacto knife. Popsicle sticks. Scissors. Glue gun. Glue sticks. We're going to use these round um, little wooden. They're supposed to be picture frames. Uh, like ornaments that you can put on a tree or something like that. Because they have this little round um, little hole here. So you can like use strings. I don't know. But I'll link it in the description uh, box. And we're going to use some of this... Um, diamond uh, ribbon. We're also going to use some of our all-purpose clear glue and we're going to use our contact paper. It's rose gold. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our rose gold um, paper. <clears throat> oh yeah, y'all. We are going to use a a round mirror. It's going to be a 14 inch mirror that I got from, um, I think I got it from at home. So I'm, you're, you're going to see that later in the video, but I just wanted to, of course, get this, uh, down here first. So all I'm doing is laying the, uh, round pieces on top of the con contact paper, what I call it contact paper, but you know, they call it something else. But I'll link it in the description box as well uh, from Amazon. So I'm used to Zacto knife and just uh, cut out this little part right here. Let's get it. So all we're going to do is take the um, Zecto knife and we're going to go ahead and turn our um, round wooden pieces and do it like this. Okay, so it's good if you can get it perfect. I can't, so all I do is take some scissors, go around the edges of the uh, wooden piece.
Okay, Glam Fam. So now we're going to take our um, <clears throat> our beautiful other oh, stuff. So, so shiny, y'all. These, um, this wedding, it's supposed to be wedding um, scatter. That's what they call it, wedding scatter. But uh, when you look on it on Amazon, it's also called diamond confetti as well. So if you see wedding scatter, then know that this is the right thing to um they also have some clear kind of wrap um wedding scatter up as well so anyway we're just gonna go ahead and put some of the um uh, wedding scatter diamond confetti whatever you want to call it on here and i'm just moving it around to make sure it's covered completely covered if you like are keeping this design or whatever then you can spray paint it and the bright copper color i believe from rustoleum is a good color that matches the um the rhinestones okay so y'all i did like i don't know probably about 25 i don't know I, i'll have to count them but i did a whole lot of these so what i'm gonna do is let this dry and once it dries, then that's when we will put our <clears throat> our bling wrap. Like, let me just do it and show you how we're going to do it. I should have put this bling wrap on first and then put this on there, but that's okay. We'll just make it work. So all you do is take the, um, the um, diamond wrap, and they call this diamond ribbon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting um, in the description box what I use because um, I have a lot of people asking me that. And I'm sorry, y'all, that I wasn't doing it. I started and then I stopped. So we're going to continue on to do put the um, items that I use and where I got it from. I'm going to start back putting that in the description box. So I apologize for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on there, y'all. It ain't gonna matter. Uh, long as the inside is completely covered, so that's all that matters. Okay, Glam Fam, so I've done uh, these right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these dry. And like I said, I got probably, um, I ordered like two packs of these. So I got like 25, 30 more. I don't know. I'll count it. 
and um, <clears throat> we'll come back and we'll finish the mirror. Okay, Gun Fam, so this is how the um, little circle should look. And so what we're going to do is use the backing of a uh, old mirror that I got from Dollar Tree. And we're going to use this to put on the back to hang the picture up. So the um, mirror up, sorry. <laughs> so we're going to cut right above. We're going to cut right above the, um, the little hook here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off, of course. And we're gonna use hot glue on the back. And the reason I'm placing the whole thing on there gives it a better hold. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to cut the side because I didn't measure to see how, you know, I never do, which I should, but I don't. Anyway, this is how I do what I do. Okay, y'all, so now what we're gonna do is place our, our circles around the mirror. So this is how it's, it's gonna look, you know, like this. But I'm gonna do this on the back side of the mirror. So we're gonna just place these in the slots it needs to be placed in. Okay, so this is the design that I came up with. Um, once again, um, I'm going to use these popsicle sticks to um, adhere to the circles. Now, let me just tell y'all, uh, Dollar Tree, their little um, popsicle sticks, they are getting so thin. Like, the other day, I was like, these popsicle sticks are very, very, very thin. So anyway, you can go over it with um, like another um, thing of glue or whatever, however you want to do it. It's up to you uh, with uh, glue or Walmart has the smaller, um, the smaller popsicle sticks and I really like those. They were just out. When I went to get some, it was out. But those are the ones that I would use. Their head, they really do hold very, very, very well. So if I were y'all, I would get some popsicle sticks that holds very well. The person that I'm making this for, she is uh, very crafty herself. So if these popsicle sticks don't hold, then um, she knows what to do you know how to fix it and everything but she's just as crafty as i am but for some reason she wanted me to make it and i thought hey let me put it on the youtube channel now y'all i wanted to talk to y'all while y'all watch me do this if y'all don't mind i um called myself this morning 
I pray, you know, before I do these videos because I pray over my hands. And I pray over my hands because I ask God to touch my hands so that it may touch your heart spiritually and what I'm doing. I want you all to know that I appreciate every thing every time you push that button i appreciate it because it's not about really the money i never got into this for that but it is about someone loving what you do it's a blessing and i want y'all to know that i truly am grateful and i appreciate and i thank god for your y'all's obedience um how you are moved to um say the things that you say um like God's anointed daughter, she's you know one of my regulars, and I do appreciate some of the things that she say. It's so spiritual. L. Pitts, Rose, I mean Erica Simmons. I could go on and on. So y'all don't ever think that when we're on here on YouTube because we have our own problems, we have our own things going on in our life. But when we come on here and you all give such positive feedback. It blesses us tremendously. You don't know how it helps us to get through our day sometimes when you all interact with us. Like, it's a blessing. People be like, oh, you, you're a superstar on YouTube or whatever, which I'm definitely not. But they, you know, just be playing. But um, it's almost like y'all be grateful that we come in. But we are more than happy and like i said some of us do do this just for the money some of us got into this because for me i got into this because i um i love doing this i've always done it for so long and someone thought i was good enough to be on youtube to show other people how to do something which was my daughter-in-law my son and my uh, other daughter but i'm just grateful that and I never expected for people to really and truly love what I do. Y'all just don't know how much of a blessing it is for me. Um, and and I, I'm grateful and I thank y'all so much. I thank y'all through the grace of God. I thank you. So um, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, let y'all hear the music play. But I just want you all to know you are so appreciated. I appreciate y'all with everything that I am. I truly do. So thank y'all and continue to watch the video. Okay, glam fam, so this is how it looks on the back. I'm going to turn it over, let you see it, and then we're going to see it on the wall. Okay, glam fam, so here is the mirror, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. The only thing I would say is when you are doing these, um, I would spray paint these circles because um, it's harder to cover with the rhinestones if you don't. And I would use the bright copper that would, um, you know, help 
uh, cover, you know, some of those empty spots. But the thing is, is I'm going to go back in and um, cover it with some more of the rhinestones. But in hindsight, I would have definitely spray painted the, uh, uh, the uh, whole entire, you know, <laughs> well, inside of the circle, I would have painted that. So I hope you all love this DIY. Um, this is just to give you some ideas. I'm going to go and correct it, of course, but this is just to give you some ideas and I hope you like it. If you do, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more glam DIYs. Y'all stay blessed.